with businesses already facing high operational costs, an extra expenditure on tax stamps could negatively impact on consumers. It's perfectly inelastic. It will be the consumer who will bear it. And if it is perfectly elastic, it will be the manufacturer who will bear the tax. According to the Uganda Revenue Authority information, a stamp on a bottle of beer will cost 55 shillings, 85 shillings for spirits, 80 shillings per stamp for a pack of tobacco, 15 shillings on a water bottle, 20 shillings for soda, and 185 shillings for each bottle of wine. Now already rolled out, effective 1st February, Uganda Revenue Authority insists consumers must look out for the Dicto stamp as a mark of quality. To ensure the consumers can be able to tell us that this is a genuine product, this is not a genuine product. And vice versa, the consumer will also be enabled to tell us where the consumer has found a product that is fake and we, our enforcement team, will definitely come in. But government could be caught on the wrong side of the law regarding the implementation of the solution and mode of payment to the service provider, CISPA. So if you manufacture a product, even before it has a stamp, you have responsibility. But then the certification or the stamping is also a mark of assurance by URA or the government to say, I have checked this and it is okay. So I see two levels of liability there. I see the brand owner being responsible as the primary manufacturer of the product. I see the government as the one that is certifying, also being responsible for certifying a fake. And therefore, the consumer in that case will be able to take action and claim damages. If URA is going to collect on their behalf, then that means URA is now also interested in their revenue. But uh, most importantly, we are saying this money, once it's creating a, a capital leakage, we are proposing that at least let us also own as Ugandan is part of this money.